today while experimenting with a Holofix sensor, I decided to see if I could make uh, something similar to a turntable that's controllable by the Arduino based on readings taken from a Hall Effect sensor and magnets strategically placed around the border of the turntable top. And this is what I came up with. It's kind of interesting. Plug the servo in. Plug the Arduino in. Basically, it'll turn the wheel, the top of the table, until a magnet comes in, come, comes close to the Hall Effect sensor. I'm using ceramic magnets, and that's why there's a little bit of overshoot. If I had the Nicodemian magnets, I could eliminate that overshoot to a certain degree. All that's driving the turntable is there's a servo directly under the center mounted to a board, and that's spinning the turntable, it's continuous rotation servo, and I have the speed controlled via the Arduino code. And all that's happening is this is a toggle type Hall Effect sensor. And so every time, that's a north pole with the blue LED, that's a south pole with the green LED. And every time the state of the signal coming from the Hall Effect sensor changes, that sends a signal to stop the servo. And it waits a certain period of time. There's a delay built in. And then it reruns the servo until, it, until the state is toggled on that Hall Effect sensor again. For a close-up of the Hall Effect sensor and the magnets and the LEDs changing, we can see that the blue LED lights up when the North Pole of a magnet passes the sensor. There's the Hall Effect sensor right there. Looks like a stripped down transistor and every time a south pole passes it the green LED lights up. And you can see, like I was talking about, there is a certain amount of overshoot but Nicodemia magnets would very likely reduce that significantly or you could do some coding modifications and get it even closer. But all you'd have to do is if you wanted it to align in a particular sort of way is just arrange the turntable and the sensor so that you account for the offshoot. You could do that mechanically, you know, or just physically in the world rather than having to make the code tremendously more complicated. And this design, immediately, some people may be able to see practical applications for it. I had in mind the mechanism is similar to the way a Ferris wheel works when it's loading and unloading passengers. That if you set this up vertically, that it would be an automated Ferris wheel where you could load the passengers. There's only four stopping points in this case, but you could add as many magnets as you wanted. And the code would work exactly the same. And, that, and you could control a round turntable top at any position you wanted it to. Well, this is also, after I got to thinking about it, it's similar to what I've seen in some assembly line and manufacturing setups that you'd have a conveyor coming in straight and then you have one entering 90 degrees from this side. And instead of doing a full rotation like this, I mean, it would still do a full rotation, but your product, the way to think about it is you have your conveyor, the product comes in, lands on the, lands on the belt, and it ends up over there. It takes a little bit of adjustment. I just have it kind of free floating. You would want to hard mount all this if you want to use it in any permanent setup. But in principle, you could send something from a conveyor on this side and have it come out 90 degrees over there, or 90 degrees over there, or directly forward if you wanted to do a product examination. And they normally would use a laser and then various visual software, but a simple Hall Effect sensor works. Seems to work perfectly fine to control a turntable. And like I said, if you put a little better magnets, this toggle type, this is a US 1881 toggle type Hall Effect sensor, 
and I'm just like I said using simple little ceramic magnets and it works fairly well there's also a sort of gaming application that if you turn this up you could have a wheel of fortune where the Arduino picks a random number depending on how many quadrants you divide the circular disk in and you could have it stop based on where a particular number is that would take some coding and some thought and you would have to keep track of how many times it's toggling you'd need some counter variable but it could be done and I may do a project like that in the future but for the moment this is just a basically a small scale version of something one could do on a much grander scale or they could do it on an even smaller scale like I was thinking in terms of all those Lego like the great ball competition where they have the balls moving through all these various Lego machines and mechanisms and a circular conveyor system like this or sorry or Hall effect control turntable may have a usage in that sort of hobby application but you would certainly want to hard mount everything and it matters like I just hot glued these magnets on the edge of this piece of foam core board and it's pretty obvious that every magnet is not exactly the same distance from the foam core board given the hot glue so if they hit that Hall effect sensor that throws the reading out of whack but beyond that it's a neat little project if someone's interested in interested in it in the schematic or the particular code I've used just let me know in the comments but just let me know if you like this project or like this video please click like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you